So the Green Bay Packers, those cheeseheads, they really thought they were going to try and take away our Kyle Fuller from Chicago? Nah. Hell no. If we were going to lose Kyle Fuller to any team, it sure as hell wasn't going to be Green Bay. Now, Kyle Fuller, who we placed on a transition tag this offseason, he was made an offer by those cheeseheads. And Ryan Pace had five business days to match that offer. He matched it within hours. So we now have Kyle Fuller on a new deal. And Kyle Fuller, our cornerback, is going to stay with the Bears. On a four-year, $56 million deal, $18 million guaranteed. And I love this contract. I think Ryan Pace did a phenomenal job. This is a team-friendly deal, I think. Unlike how some of the Packers fans on social media were trying to laugh at us, Chicago Bears, saying, Uh, we made you guys overpay for Kyle Fuller. Uh, no. You see... $18 million of that contract is guaranteed. $13 million is guaranteed in this upcoming season. So, for the rest of the contract, for the rest of the three years, he's only guaranteed $5 million. Now, <clears throat> there are those people who are skeptical about Cal Fuller, right? He had an okay rookie season. Last year was his best season. So, some people are worried, what if Kyle Fuller isn't worth this money? Well, we're only on the hook for most of the money that he's guaranteed in this first coming up year on his new contract. So let's say he busts out, right? Let's say he bottoms out and he sucks after this year. We could release him after this year, next year, he sucks, we can release him, and it won't be detrimental to the Chicago Bears and our salary cap. It's a great deal for us. And Ryan Pace played this perfectly. It was genius because had Kyle Fuller been placed on a franchise tag instead of a transition tag, he would have been guaranteed $14 million, right? Over $14 million. And when they and if they were to work out on a long-term deal, Kyle Fuller would have probably made even more money. He would have had more leverage. But since he was placed on a transition tag, we owed him about $13 million, and we gave him a four-year $56 million deal. Uh, deal, $18 million guaranteed. It's team friendly. It works out for us. So if he sucks, if he gets injured, whatever, and we decide to let him go after this year, it won't hurt us in the long term. Only $5 million guaranteed after this year for the rest of his contract. So, I love it. It's a great deal. Now, apparently Kyle Fuller, he had, he was made another offer. By another team. Apparently that was the New Orleans Saints. And he rejected that. This Packer offer was the second offer he was made. But uh, Packers, you try and we beat you. And we have Kyle Fuller now, who we needed for this upcoming year. He had a great season last year. Let's see if he can repeat that. And again, if he, if he can't, he gets hurt again, major injury, whatever. Long term, it ain't going to hurt us with this deal. Chicago Bears, Packers, we're coming for y'all. Now, I, granted, you guys still have the best player in the division in Aaron Rodgers. I concede that. But there's no doubt about it that the Bears are a better team than the Green Bay Packers. And even the Detroit Lions, I would argue. I would say that the Minnesota Vikings are the only team overall that's above us. But we're coming for them, too. We still got moves to make, and I can't wait for the draft. Ryan Pace, you have destroyed it this offseason. Just killing it, man. Absolutely genius moves by Ryan Pace, our GM. All the free agents that we signed, the deal that we just made with Kyle Fuller, I'm happy. I'm loving this offseason. This is a great year already. I cannot wait for the draft. Now, in the upcoming draft, uh, and I'll go into this more detail later on when we do our mocks and everything, but I would love for us in the eighth pick, somehow, some way, if Quentin Nelson were to fall to us at eight, man, that would be great. If not, we can get Will Hernandez later. 
I also like him too. But um, Ryan Pace is absolutely killing this offseason. Every single move he's made, loved it. But I want to know y'all's thoughts on this Kyle Fuller deal and overall this offseason so far. How do you think Ryan Pace has been doing? Because I think he's been killing it. I'm loving what the Chicago Bears are doing, and I am excited for the draft to come. I'm excited to get this season started. We're going to play in the Hall of Fame game. I cannot wait, baby. Bear down. Let's go. Chicago Bears, we're coming for the NFC North. Let's go, baby. Bear down. The Bears.